Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today we're getting real about periods or more specifically how to make them go away faster because periods can be a real pain in the butt and they can come at the most inconvenient of times. So I'm gonna share with you my tried and tested tips. These are ones I've tried personally. They're also backed by research to help you get your period to go away ASAP. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. So I actually personally suffer from endometriosis, which is essentially a condition that causes you to have very heavy, very painful periods. Let me tell you when I say I understand your suffering when it comes to periods being an absolute annoyance and really getting you down. They can really affect your ability to just go about your life normally and do like your everyday things. And especially when you've got a fun event planned and you do have a really heavy period or maybe it's a date and you want to have sex for the first time and you just don't want to have to have sex on your period it can be really annoying but thankfully these tips actually are going to help you get rid of art flow sooner so let's get into tip number one Regular exercise has been linked to lighter, shorter periods, and it's also been linked to improved mood, which means it can be great for people who suffer from PMS for getting rid of that horrible pre-period crankiness and moodiness that can affect so many of us. And cardio exercise in particular can help to get rid of the dreaded period bloat because it's helping to get everything moving and it will help to flush things out quickly. So try to perform regular exercise and then around your period, perform some exercise that is not going to be too strenuous. Something like walking or very light jogging or even dancing can really help your period to go away sooner. Okay, this is my favorite one and I'm not going to lie, I use this one a lot and it really actually works. Like it really works and the reason it works is because when we masturbate and when we have an orgasm an orgasm causes all of the muscles in and around our uterus to contract and when the uterus is contracting what it's going to do is it's going to push the blood out and obviously the faster we get that blood out the faster our period comes to an end not to mention that masturbation relieves cramps because when we orgasm and when we get turned on and we feel good we're releasing lots of dopamine and serotonin those are feel good pain relieving hormones that calm us and help to ease our pain and tension so masturbate frequently when you have your period if you're worried about mess then just simply lie down in towel or even try masturbating in the bath or shower today's video is brought to you by manscape.com the global leader in men's intimate grooming and hygiene now's the perfect time to see what all the hype's about and check out the iconic performance package featuring some of manscape's most popular products including the new 4.0 shaver, a waterproof trimmer designed for shaving your hair down there with advanced skin safe technology so you never have to worry about nicking your nether region. It's great for all genders too. And if you need gifts for the guys in your life this silly season, Manscaped's refined cologne, a clean, fresh scent featuring touches of citrus and jasmine, and their luxury four-piece shears nail kit are sure to impress. As a special Black Friday treat, Manscaped are offering you guys 25% off plus free shipping and two free gifts when you use my link. So get in fast to enjoy the savings and give yourself and the man in your life the gift that keeps on giving. Now there are mixed opinions on this one, but I personally find that tampons tend to extend the length of your period rather than shorten it. Because what a tampon is doing is it's essentially blocking the flow and causing your period to essentially clot up. And that's going to slow down the flow. If you're wanting to get all of that menstrual blood out faster, then your best bet is to either use a pad or if you don't enjoy using pads, try a reusable menstrual cup. They're really cheap, environmentally friendly. You can use them hundreds of times. They last for a long time and they actually allow you to collect your period blood so you can actually see how much blood you're losing 
losing, which is really great to actually determine if you're losing too much blood in a cycle. The average woman loses somewhere around six to eight tablespoons of blood throughout her period. So if you're finding that yours is a lot more than that, then maybe consider seeing your doctor. If you do not already, then take a multi B vitamin. Multi B vitamins are really helpful for women with our energy and with our moods, but specifically vitamin B6, which you will find in a multi B vitamin, has been found to actually help balance out your hormones around the time of your period. And when you have really good balanced hormones, your period tends to be shorter and lighter. So just go to your local drugstore and pick up a multi B supplement you can usually get them for really cheap and just taking one every day can really help to get your hormones balanced alleviate some of that period pain and hopefully shorten the length of your cycle there's a small amount of research to suggest that raspberry leaf tea can actually help to lighten and shorten periods. Now you do need to be drinking it regularly, so I would recommend having at least one to two cups every day, and then right before your period, try upping that to three cups a day and see if it works for you. This is something I've tried, and I don't know if maybe it's a placebo because I have found that my period's been slightly lighter when I've been doing it. But also raspberry leaf tea tastes really delicious, so you have nothing to lose by implementing it into your daily routine. There's no like sugar or anything in it. It's a really healthy way to hydrate yourself. And like I say, there is some research to suggest that it may lighten your flow. So why not give it a go? If all else fails and you do find that your periods continue to be very long and very heavy and they're really impacting on your life, consider talking to your doctor about birth control. There are lots of different options that you can take that are going to either stop your period altogether, shorten it, or really lighten the flow. Things like the birth control pill or even the implant can really help with that. But it's also worth speaking to your doctor if your period is really impacting your life because you might find, like me, that you have endometriosis or another menstrual related disorder. So it's always good to get that checked out. Your period ultimately should not be something that's really causing you to lose large chunks of your life, being in bed, being in pain, not being able to function and having to change your pad multiple times. You know, if you're changing your pad once every hour, things like that, those are all signs that something might be up. So make sure that you do see your doctor and get it checked out. But otherwise, I hope these tips help you guys to have shorter, lighter periods and get on with your life. Now, if you like this video and you want more period tips, then give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel because I've got other period related tips. I've also got lots of sex education and sex positive content on this channel specifically for women that you're going to love and you're only going to see it coming up in your feed if you're subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and yeah, like this video. I think I already said that. So that's me done. I'll see you all in the next video. Mwah.